Hey guys, this is Trey Sykes with Camwood Bats, and I'm here with Miss Sherry and my man Caleb. And uh, Caleb just got done with the uh, All American 30 Day program, and he wanted to come on here and share his results with it. So, uh, for starters, uh, the first question I have for you, Miss Sherry, it's uh, uh, give a little bit of a backstory of Caleb's hitting as a parent. Absolutely. Um, Caleb has been on a few different teams throughout the years. He started playing really early. And we've had a lot of great coaches along the way. It, it always seemed that um, throughout the different teams, Caleb always struggled at hitting. Um, he was never one of the best. He might have been middle of the pack. But um, every game he would come home and we always talked about the goods and the bads after the game. And mm -hmm. it never failed that it always seemed hitting came up as one of the bads that he didn't hit as well as he wanted to. And he wanted to become a better hitter almost every year. He said yeah. that. Um, and no matter hard, how hard we worked, it just never seemed that he improved a ton with hitting. Yeah. And so, um, you know, this year we've practiced a lot more and uh, eventually got introduced to the Cam Wood, which has, has helped his hitting a lot. Yeah. And Caleb, what do you, uh, what do you have to say? What, like, give me a little bit of backstory in your words of your hitting before. Um, so, yeah, as my mom said, throughout, you, throughout the years, um, I've never been the best hitter. Um, yeah. I might have been middle of the pack, maybe, maybe even back of the pack. But hitting, it just wasn't natural to me, yeah. I would say. Well, it's not, it's not natural to anybody, but it, it didn't come as easy. Oh, exactly. Trust me. I said I, I was a 180 average hitter. I was a backup first baseman my junior year in high school. So, like I said, I struggled all throughout whenever I was young. Um, I never was a good hitter until I got introduced to this program, until I started work and uh, really understanding the proper swing mechanics, which is what the program teaches. So the program that you did – is the exact same thing that I did when I first started working with my hitting coach. So, so I, I know the power of it because I also went through it, you know. So uh, whenever you started, and I'll ask Caleb, I'll ask you this question. So whenever you started the Camden All-American program, uh, what was the one thing that you wanted to accomplish? So really when I started the Camden, the one thing that I wanted to accomplish was – either getting a faster bat speed or getting exit velocity, like a higher exit velocity. Yeah. So you get started with the program and you start seeing the good results. You are working with uh, coach Edwards for about 10 days and then COVID-19 happens. <laughs> so I said, mom, I'll ask you this. Um, you know, what were the struggles with that? Uh, having to come home and do it in a garage or in the backyard and all you had was a booklet and some training videos to go by. So what, how uh, hard was that for you? Um, so the good news is we did get it started at practice at first. Um, and then whenever, whenever the state got shut down, we had zero practice. Um, so the kids couldn't get together. They couldn't help each other or watch each other. Um, so we did it downstairs in the basement. Um, we have a little section set off for hitting and it was it was a bit of a struggle for me at first trying to get used to what the drills were and what they were supposed to look like um and so often we would send our coach some videos and say hey how does this look are we doing it the right way yeah. um but as far as the program goes it was a very easy program to follow um it set out exactly what day how many times do you hit with the one hand bat and with the larger bat um so it's broken down very easy to follow so that part was good it was super easy and then just making sure that the way he was doing it was the right way exactly caleb do you have anything like um any time throughout the program you started feeling like you started you were getting a lot better and hitting became easier for you Especially um, towards the end, like day, I'd say like day 29, day 30. Yeah. It just, it just came natural to me. Like the pipe drill, it just came easier to me. It yeah. felt, it felt like second nature. Good. So that's, that's the whole point of the, you know, is building up having so much repetition. And so it starts to feel natural to you. 
And towards the end of the program, it definitely gets much easier, especially with the amount of swings. I know it could be a lot of swings for some people, but um, I said repetition is that's, you got to have it. You got to build that muscle memory. So I was talking to Coach Edwards, and he told me a story of after the 30-day program, y'all go out to the field together just to hit off of the tee on the field and uh, just run through that story of that day. Tell me a little bit about it. So – uh, I think it was August, maybe September. We go out to the field, and Coach Edwards come comes to practice with us, and he was like, "Let's let's have a home run derby and see how far you could hit." I get my bat, I get my batting gloves, and I started. I barely hit one over the pitcher's mound the first like two times, and then finally I got used to it, and hit two or three out of the infield, maybe one in the grass. Yeah, but it. I, I remember I, I was confident then because yeah. I had success. I got it out of the infield. Yeah. But as an 11 year old, getting out of the infield is not that big of a success. Uh, yeah. So, but we were good at that point. We were, we were, we had goals and we were working towards them. Yeah. So and then uh, after the 30 days, you go out to the field and uh, what happened? Um, after the 30-day program, um, I don't know why, but it felt like whenever I hit the home run, it just felt smooth. Yeah. I don't know why. It's well, it it, the three-day program. That's why we just we're teaching you the proper mechanics <laughs> in the bat speed. Yeah. Stronger. That was probably it. Well, the first one I get out, the first one I hit, I get it out of the infield, and I'm like, Awesome. I couldn't do that. Well, I couldn't do that a lot last time. So yeah. uh, finally, I get to like, like max level and I start hitting home runs. And I'm like, is this a dream or, <laughs> <laughs> or am I in fantasy land? That's funny. Uh, yeah, but I start hitting bombs. Two, four, six, eight. And then finally, I get one and it goes over the scoreboard in left center and on to the next field. Thanks. Holy cow. <laughs> Mom, what was going through your head as you're back there watching it and videotaping it? <laughs> so I videotape a lot because I can, if I can't explain it, I can show him what it looks like and, and hopefully he can see what he's doing and how to, he can fix it himself. So that day I videotaped a little bit and then um, the first swing that he had that went over the fence, I turned around and I looked and I, did that really just go over the fence? And he had the biggest smile on his face and coach had the biggest smile on his face. And they were like, yep, that was his first home run. And I was like, no way, can you do it again? And so I started videotaping. And from that point on, I was like, well, I'm going to videotape all of them to see how many we get. And I'm not, it was between 12 and 15 that he did that day. It was, and I couldn't get him to stop smiling that day because oh, that was the first time he had ever hit a ball over a fence, uh, regardless of the field size, you know, as they're playing up in years, yeah. some eight year old kids hit home runs on, you know, an eight year old field. And as it progresses, um, this was the first time he'd ever hit a ball over a fence. I was so proud and so excited. It was the first time with him at a hitting session, walk away with a smile on his face. That is awesome. yeah. So you went from, not being able to hit the ball of the infield in the air to hitting 12 to 15 home runs off of a tee after the All-American program. That is – that's amazing. That might be one of our best stories that I've heard inside of this program. I said, we've heard some, some crazy stories, but that's, that's definitely up there. Thank you guys for coming on here and telling the story and sharing it with everybody. And uh, as always, if y'all have any questions or anything, feel free to give me a call, reach out to me, or reach out to Coach Edwards. And uh, we'll do anything, y'all. Whatever you need me to do, I'll help you out. Okay. Well, thank you very much. We thank appreciate you. it. Yes, ma'am. All right.